I'm gonna have to take it to YouTube. I don't know. I guess. And go figure out how to fix this thing because I've never actually had this happen ever. Yeah. In all my thousands of years of operating one of these pieces of a machinery. Look at how I'm living. Just look at how I'm living. I'm taking what I'm giving. Just look at how I'm living. Just look at how I'm living. Good morning. This is the day after last night. <laughs> What can I say? So last night I finished up pretty late. It was about eight o'clock. The uh, little thing on the excavator decided to tell me it says, feed me, or I think it says feed me, feed me, feed me, feed me. So I've got to take care of the excavator right now and feed it because apparently it's hungry for some more fuel. Now we're gonna jump back onto our road crossing building destroying some rocks and i'm gonna put the video uh away from me so it's not in the cab so it's not so shaky shaky bouncy bouncy like it was previously the first thing we gotta do we gotta open her up wiggle wiggle ultra low sorrowful these hole you all only. Fully. Fully. I got our jumpy box. Probably not the greatest way, but I need to come up with a power source for this thing. I used to have a plug that I actually made for my hitch that when I turned the lights on, it would power my fuel cell. Maybe I'll do that. I think I've got one laying around in the trailer somewhere. <laughs> this is most excellent. Stay. I guess we can move up. It's freaking cold. My hands are cold right now. Let's go ahead and put some gloves on. Gonna keep the diesel off for fingertips too. It's about 30, I guess 30, 36 degrees out here right now. It's not terrible, but my hands don't like it. See if there's enough go go juice in it. We're pretty empty in it as well, so I mean, who knows if I even have enough fuel in this thing, and I really don't want to go to the store and get some. Are these transition lenses? By golly, I think they might be. I ordered two pairs of glasses from this place called Yeni Glasses or something. And no sponsorship, by the way. If you want to, feel free to reach out. But I thought they were going to send me the other ones first, the cheaper version. And this is the first ones I got. And I'm waiting on another pair, so I got to look for those ones. So, refueling, it's kind of no fun. Costs a lot of money. A lot of money. But luckily, this thing's pretty self It's efficient. It's an efficient machine. I think I've gone through maybe a tank. And I've moved a lot of big trees, pushed down a lot of big trees. Granted, it's only about three days worth of work, but 
I, I, I put this thing to good use. And just like that, we're full now. I want you to love me, baby. I want you to see. My heart is a freight train, baby. And it's rolling, it's picking up that steam. That's alright with me I want you to love me, baby I want you to see My heart is a freight train, baby And it's rolling, it's picking up that steam You got all the goods for me foot or so I'm probably gonna have to climb over this and start pulling the rocks down they're getting pretty big I got the, the low the low water crossing is gonna be right here but I need to level it out that way when we're bringing in anything I've got cement trucks that got to get in here so I'm probably gonna take another cedar to cedar down or two I'm gonna have to wrap the road and curve it plus I want to be able to get you know a trailer back there possibly we'll see how well that goes but it's working out pretty good. I mean, I've got all this rock on the property, so why not use it? I mean, it was just an expense that I would have had to pay for bigger rock. So using the materials on the property is fantastic. And I love it because we're going to be able to use all this lumber I'm taking down too and make something with it. So let's get back to it and we'll get, uh, we'll get our little pass. Um, finished up and I should be able to have Kim's car drive all the way up it that's the big thing maybe not right yet but once I get the actual chirp down
made it across the ravine. <laughs> ravine. It's only a little tiny seasonal stream. I've got the rocks. Hopefully we won't have to put a culvert in or anything, but I don't think there's a lot of water that really runs through it. Everything runs under the ground because we're on this rock shelf, right? So we'll see how that plays out. But right up here, that's where we're going, where that orange is on that tree. If you can see it, not there. I can see it from right here. Can you guys? Yeah? Okay. That tree's coming down. The road is gonna go right there. We're gonna go straight out that path. Um, all those trees are actually coming down every single one, but we're going right through there. So we'll have that path opened up and that'll provide us our road and I can start bringing some chert in here and get this all cleaned up. And that'll give us our road up to the main logging road and give us the ability to make it back to the build site. I'm so excited for that build site. It's gonna be a lot of rock that I gotta crush and beat up. But that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna get back on this, get this tree knocked out, get some of these other trees moved out of the way. And it's a beautiful day. It's sunny outside and blue skies, which is pretty crazy. That woodpecker sending me Morse code. Beer and nachos? Did you know they eat beer and nachos? I didn't. I failed SOS class, Morse code. We're going to get at it.
gonna have to take it to YouTube and go figure out how to fix this thing because I've never actually had this happen ever. Yeah, in all my thousands of years of operating one of these pieces of uh, machinery, <laughs> never have I had a track come off. That was, that, was my, that was my dream, my worst dream that I had the first time I, I rented it. And yeah, it's uh, pretty intense that it's, uh, it just happened. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and take the time to uh, check out some of our other videos. I may have to pay someone to fix this if I can't figure it out. I got to go get my impact, my tools. It's going to set me back. I don't even know how long. Hopefully I can call them and tell them that it's under repair right now or something. That'll get me an extra day or two, however long it takes me. Um, I'm going to go get my tools. See if I can't get down here and get it fixed. <laughs>